Okay, question number 11, it involves the area of a trapezium. Okay, the formula is at the, on the front uh, formula page. It is area equals a half brackets A plus B close brackets H, A and B being the parallel sides, 8.4 and 17.6. We don't know the H here, so we're gonna use that in the formula. Okay, we're told in the question that the area of the trapezium equals 179.4. So plugging in the numbers to the formula and you get a half. Add together the parallel sides, H, um, undo all of that by multiplying through by 2 and dividing through by the bracket, then you'll find out that H equals 13.8. Okay, the, dis the distance between the parallel sides or the height of the trapezium is 13.8. Uh, We're then trying to find this angle in the top corner there, look, the B angle just in there. So if I drop a line down from that um, uh, angle, not only have I got a 90 degree angle up here in the top left, so 90 there, um, I've also created a right angle triangle just here, okay? So looking at this right angle triangle here, I can find this angle in there because I've just found the height and I know what this length is over here, okay? Well, I'll talk about that in a moment. If I know the two lengths and I've got a right angle triangle, I can be using Sokotoa to find this angle up here. OK, now uh, the length AX along here, because it says it's got one line of symmetry, means you've got a, a line of symmetry down the middle, means it's symmetrical. OK, so the distance on the right hand end here equals the distance on the left hand end there. And all together, they make 17.6. So if you uh, do 17.6 and take away the distance in the middle, which is 8.4, same as the top, um, and then divide it by two because you've got some on the left hand end and the right hand end, then the distance is 4.6. So looking at that triangle just on the left hand end now, with it, you've got a right angle just down in there, Sokotoa, okay? Label up your sides, this is the O side and this is the A side, makes it an OA tan question, okay? Set up the formula, tan equals opposite over adjacent. There it is, tan of the angle, always done to an angle. To get rid of the tan, you don't divide it, you do the opposite of tan, which is tan inverse. So in your calculator, you need to do tan inverse brackets 4.6 over 13.8, and that gives you an angle in there of 18.43. Okay, that's that angle up there, 18.43. Don't forget, you've got the 90 degree angle to go with it. So if you add those two together, answer 108.4 degrees.